please welcome Mr. Pete Burnett. My name's, uh, my name's Pete, I'm uh, really excited to be here. I'm in a great mood, but I gotta make this really quick because I gotta uh, get back to Trader Joe's before my manager knows I'm missing. Yes, thank you. That's all I have, folks. Have a good night. Do I get a, like a free guacamole dip for mentioning them on TV? Hi, Mom, how are you? But uh, anyway, guys, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really happy right now. Met a, a, a really nice lady, uh, thank you. <laughs> apparently, apparently she likes to walk a lot because uh, everybody keeps telling me she's been around a block a few times. I'm a little slow. What does that mean, guys? I'm, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But uh, this is a nice, nice looking crowd here. You guys, uh, where are you guys from? That's great. I have a short set, guys. I only have five minutes. So I have to condense the crowd work. So forgive me on that. But. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so um, actually, you know, I'm, I'm getting older, guys. You know, I know it's, it's a shock with the uh, aging Judge Reinhold look. Any <laughs> Gremlins fans, Fast Times or Ridgemont High? I know, it's old references, guys. I've been doing the same act for 20 years. What do you want from me? But uh, yeah, I mean, no matter how old you get, people uh, still get on your case. You know, people sending me up, you know, no, no wife, no kids. You didn't want that? And I tell my so it's not that I didn't want it, there's just no, no room in my parents' basement. Just no room in my parents' basement. Was that a little too sad for, for TV? Can we edit that part out, please? <laughs> oh my gosh, but uh, it's, listen, it's not as sad as it sounds, guys. I do have a karaoke machine down there. I'll just be like, I think I love you, you know. I'm, uh, but uh, you know, if I have a you know a lady over, it gets a little awkward, uh, you know, because my, my race car bed's a little short now, you know, and you know, and I'm worried about the Star Wars sheets, you know, the vintage. So that's why I have no one over. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I, I I moved out. It was last month, but you know, better late than never. Better late than never. But uh, anyway, guys, I you know I get the whole nice guy thing. That that's my thing. You know, I'll ask somebody out, and she'll be like, Ah, you're too nice. And uh, you know, buddies of mine tell me, you know, Pete, be a little more aggressive. Like, just be a little bit of a dick. Be a little bit of an asshole. Hector said I could curse here, so uh, he said. <laughs> so you know, you ever notice like if you're a guy, you're either like one of three things of the uh, human anatomy. You're a dick. You're an asshole. You're a pussy. Like, yeah, me, I'm neutral. I'm a taint. I just like to keep right in the middle. Don't like to make no waves. No waves. Uh, guys, we got any uh, football fans in the crowd here? Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, season's right around the corner. Uh, some of the teams are still getting pressure to change their name, like like the Redskins. They say it's not politi uh, political. Uh, beautifully said, right? <laughs> yes. I'm not nervous. Um, you know, they, it's, it's referring to the skin color, and I just feel like there's more offensive stereotypes in the NFL, like like offensive gay stereotypes. You know, like Packers, Bears. Cowboys, <laughs> Oilers, anyone? It's got a little homoerotic tinge to it. I guess if you gotta explain the joke, it's not so hot, right? Okay, this is going really well. This is going fantastic. <laughs> just by the way, guys, this is not a comedy act. It's just my suicide note with punchlines. That's, that's all this is right now, as I hear the, light, the groan. <laughs> but uh, I, guys, I come from a neighborhood in uh, Queens called Glendale, Glendale, Queens. Uh, all right, there we go. You know, I grew up, uh, this is a, a mixed crowd here. I'm a little older. I grew up in the 70s there, and uh, it was a rough neighborhood, you know, back then. Uh, like, you didn't want to be caught dead, like if you were a guy in a pair of shorts. I remember uh, one time I was wearing shorts. I walked past a group of kids, and uh, one guy jumps out, hey, nice shorts, you pansy, you fruitcake. I'm sorry, this wasn't the 70s, it was yesterday. It was a little warm out, I was, I was a little toasty. I had to uh, air myself out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, any uh, Facebook junkies in a room like myself? I'm, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I go on a lot. I, I check like every five seconds. You know, I'm very nostalgic. I like the uh, throwbacks. Uh, recently, I was going to post a uh, like a birthday party, a McDonald's birthday party from 1978, and you know, I'm looking at the picture of me and my friends, and it's just like all white kids. You know, like no racial diversity, no inclusion. So I, I thought I was being slick. I photoshopped in a picture of a black kid, but uh, but I got busted. It was a picture of Gary Coleman. Yeah, so that that didn't go so well. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I'll leave you with one more. Uh, you know, I didn't have all the great technology like you guys have today. Uh, I could have used Tinder when I was growing up. I was very uh, very shy kind of guy, and. Um, 
But the closest thing I had to Tinder back then was just kind of like stalking chicks on a subway, you know? Just like, hey, you come here often? Hope you don't get mugged. Is that Bernie Getz over there? All right, maybe that's too old of a reference. I don't know. Anyway, guys, you've been a great crowd. Enjoy the rest of the show. And, uh,